One of the most difficult things to think about is what our lives could be like as we get much older. Nung bata tayo, nakikita natin yung mga lolo at lola natin. We've seen them when they were still very strong and active. But we also saw them slowly deteriorate over time. Pahina ng pahina. May panahon nga na hindi na tayo kilala eh. Ang iba nagkaroon ng malubhang sakit. And then we saw them one by one passing on from this life. Papunta na tayo doon. Ang iba nga siguro sa atin sa pre-departure area na eh. At dahil alam natin ang mga posibleng mangyari, we need to plan for all eventualities. We need to be financially prepared. Kung wala ka ng source of income, aasa ka na lang sa ipon mo o sa pension. But you need to have some amount saved up for when you get sick. Mahal pa ang maintenance medicines. We need to be physically prepared as well. M- mga normal na nagagawa natin ngayon, in a couple of years' time, hirap na natin gawin. Madali na mapagod. We will have greater risks of chronic diseases. We can only slow down the process by healthy living, healthy food, exercise, adequate sleep. Magbabago na rin ang social roles natin. Kung ang identity natin, hinuhugot natin sa trabaho, ay posibleng mag-identity crisis tayo upon retirement. Kung dati tayo nagdedesisyon sa pamilya, maya-maya mga anak na natin na nagdedesisyon sa buhay natin. We need to watch out for the changes in our emotions. Baka maapektuhan ang ating self-esteem at sense of purpose. We also have to be prepared for the time when we will pass on as much as possible. Huwag na nating abalahin ang ating pamilya. It's good to have insurance, life plans, even burial plans. If you have property that you will pass on to your children, you may need to write your last will and testament para hindi mag-away-away yung mga may iwan mo. Finally, we have to be prepared to meet our Creator. It is God who created us. He was the one who knitted together our DNA when we were still in our mother's womb. And someday soon, we will have to return to Him. And we need to be prepared to give an account of our lives to Him. Jesus once shared the parable of what will happen at the end of our lives. At that appointed time when we have to give an account for everything we've done. It goes like this. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. Is this what you want to hear from the Lord? Then let us do everything we can to accomplish His will with the remaining time we have. Shall we pray? Father, thank you for the life you have given me. My life is yours. I wish to live it for you. Help me to dedicate my remaining years to doing the things that will please you the most. Help me prepare not only for the onset of old age, but more importantly, for the arrival of the end of the age. May you find me faithful in doing your will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.